Well done. So my one, <laughs> she Wait, loves your space. Kind of, like sightseeing here. Yeah. I know you're just kind of looking at everything right now. One click is walk on. Two clicks is try kisses canner, usually. Okay. And she's verbal too, so you can you know. She just likes to get in your bubble. That's the yeah. problem. I was gonna say, I just wanted to get away from it for yeah, a second. Yeah, I know. And she does uh, always counter bend. It's horrible. Well, and that could be, there you go. And that could you be see part that of lump? the fact that she's not sound. Sound. Or, counter, yeah. Severe counter bending. But, so she's, you can see she's already short. That's what I saw in the video was the left front. That we're... Yeah, and that was one that okay. was injected. Now it was the knees, correct? The mm. knees were injected? I think so. Yeah, okay. her yeah, knees, sure um, knees. Yeah. I wasn't sure if they did the. Um, it would be on your um, receipt from them, too. Yeah, that's probably where they would. I know they did the knees for sure. They did um, two or four with each. Leg. There was eight all the other way uh, Two, four, six, 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 well, I don't know, I'd have to look at the in place. <laughs> well, that was a loopy. Yeah. <laughs> We've been working on manners. <laughs> Does she usually do that or she no. said something stuck in her? Okay, that's good. Let's go the other way. <laughs> I, I swear she knows how to way. lunge. She's like, oh, it's a newbie. Uh -huh. She does <laughs> test people. Sorry. Yeah. See how it's so, it, it just is not right. Well, I mean, it's not helping that she's looking the other way but I've even lunged with them um, like side reins or you know. <laughs> she's feisty <laughs> sorry <laughs> that, yeah that's Oop. you hear that breath mm -hmm. that's what she'll do and it just gets worse just when you lunge her, when you ride her? I have not ridden her um, because of my health. Uh, okay. Passed a walk and a couple of uh, trot steps because in the last couple of years. But, and, and also because of that, okay. because I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. That started when we had the Australian wild, wildfires. And I so agree. I thought at first maybe it was just allergies mm -hmm. or something. And it used to only be at the canner, but now she has started to do it at the... That's good there, Mom. Um, does she do it at all in her stall, like when she's eating hay or? Uh, she's in out whenever she wants to, and no, never at rest. Okay. Just uh, exercise yeah. induced. <laughs> She's a ham, I'm sorry. We do obstacles, so she's she's good. Sorry. 
you mind if I video for my own? Um, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I don't know, she changes it. <laughs> It's the wall. Sorry. that clears it up just on this image. It looks like something here and here, but I'm not really, it's just hard to say with. Yeah, if you need to take them, go for it, X-rays. So usually we'd block, we, our traditional localized blocking pattern is from this heel, and then we don't see anything there, then we do the foot, and then we do what's called the low four point, it clues the fetlock. The only reason to jump higher than that is if there's a particular joint space that's suspect. And from my, and we might just snap one, just take mm -hmm. some for a bit more clarity. If there is like this, this one is showing, which again, it's not really seeing it here. If she had some kind of chips or something arthritis going on here, I would block this particular joint. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> if we don't see it, then I would just do our regular going from the bottom and working mm -hmm. our way up. It's I do have the USB right there. Okay. Of the original images too. If you but feel free to take what we you might, need. We might yeah, may just take one just, yep. to, no just to take that out and then we Bella, just show you what I'm doing. 
but. Is it an orphan? The mom tried to kill him. Oh, you know. oh my god, dude. I'll be there in a minute. So, like, when the farrier was just trying to, well, I guess that would have been her. back foot. I was, her front legs will shake, so I don't know. Yeah, when we did a flashing test with the other vets, so she was struggling with it. Okay. Yeah, she's a woolly mammoth. She positive. <clears throat> through a frog. And... She's positive? Yeah. Meaning? So she's sensitive when I push down, she wants to grab her foot away. So she's painful there, whether it's the source of or not, hard to say. Got the chiropractor out. We've tried. Yeah. She'll let you know where she doesn't feel good. And interestingly enough, the front right, the one you're picking up right now, is the only one that they did not inject. So, I mean, I agree with that flexion. Her, yeah. her left front knee did flex positive. I thought she flexed positive when we flex this leg and her other leg got sore, which just means she's got more weight on whatever sore in the left and then I make her stand on one leg or one leg up front and just a little sore in the frog just on both sides. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Friendly, too. Yeah. So she's in, she has an in out wherever she wants to, but I know that sometimes we do deal with thrush, even though I try to keep it as, you know, clean and stuff. So do you think that some of that sensitivity is... It could be, whether this is the source of what's going on, hard to say, but it could be just what we're finding on those hoop testers is a little bit sensitive there. A little bit more as the right has on the other side. I'm just going to stick with the front, really. That's where we're seeing this head bob. Get to the bottom of that. When she dipped on that um, right rear, was that it? That's the right SI, so... Uh, I mean, something as those hawk injections um, come into play, that that will go away. For now, I think we'll try to get rid of the, the head bob yeah. up front. Um, relatively comfortable behind, I think, but I think this left front is kind of our, our deal. I'm thinking, just from looking at that other x-ray, at least doing a heel block to start. Okay. Um, we may have to flip her a little bit if that's okay. Knock yourself out, yeah. We can get the, um, I don't think I ever have clipped her, um, so it, it'll be interesting. Do you want me to hold my horse? Sure. <laughs> Going to the spa bell. Yeah. She's funny. She's not a real reactionary horse. No. Well, she has a lot of trust. So yeah. she might look at you like she's watching with her ears, yeah. but she's just like, mm -hmm. okay, I know you're not going to hurt me, so. You need to talk to Nitro because he thinks everybody's going to hurt She did call Nitro a diva, so. <laughs> she is. Yeah. Love that. A little funny haircut. Okay.
Do you think it's our left front that's bugging her still? Is that the one they did inject and the other one is the one they did inject? The white one is the only one they did not inject, yeah. Okay. So it must be compensatory if she's off on the other one, she's just, maybe. Hard to say. Um, I mean, when you say inject, the inject is one joint, so there's lots of other things that could be going on in there. Um, Oops, sorry. No backing. Right. <laughs> you <laughs> So these are just blocks, right? Mm -hmm. To see where we're at. Okay. Oh, baby girl. She has a lot of chai in her. She can't. She was sweet girl. Multiple. Like a fruity, like mm -hmm. things. I mean, whatever works, I don't care. I'd have just told you to drug my horse. I'd have been like, well, just save you yourself the drama. Horse, though, right? Oh, that's right. You can't do that. That's all right. Why do you black her eyes so she can't see what you're doing? Yeah. And then, it, you know, it's... She uses you as a headrest. I think it's adorable. I, I know the personal space. We, we don't... Yeah. Sorry. Don't forget that left back is the one she kicks usually to the side out. If she is getting frustrated, just to give you a heads up. Maybe we'll trot her to see. I don't want to try to paint. It's hard to believe it. Okay. Maybe we'll just take her out. Yeah, we can do that. Do you want me to? Do you want me to? Huh? Sure. Thanks. All right. Do you want to walk her or trot her down the fairway there?
still not. Try it on, Bella. She's just struggling with a me yeah. oh um i mean i think she's she, yeah but i think she's still off it's almost like she what a percentage on comparison what would you say Hap, like 50 percent better maybe yeah. what do you think it's almost like she extends too quickly like you know uh, Uh, I look at both her feet and then the head bob, okay. both. So like the head, head bob has definitely gotten better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it just seems to me that she's not quite on stride with that uh, front right. Like it's not hitting where it should be. Like I don't know if she's like almost straightening the yeah, knee too much. I don't know. I think she improved quite a bit going this direction. The other direction, it's like she doesn't want to, she struggles with. Yeah. Where this way. And there's no Sooner doubt better. this is going to be a little tricky to make 100% in the sense that she's 20 years old and there's, you know, yeah. there's other things going on. But our biggest thing is to get that head bob, I'd say, right now to get that out of the way. Um, I thought that left front had improved quite a bit, maybe a little more awkward to the right. Um, but I think that that made her quite a bit more comfortable the more she trotted. With that said, let's take her back inside and see. I think there is something going on with her knee too. And sometimes now from those at preliminary x-rays, like I didn't really see enough that we go, oh my God, like injections would fix that. But um, I mean, I think that's certainly something. I don't think that's primarily what's going on. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. Like she just looks still like stiff and short in that, yep. you know. I'm not saying you stop, but I'm not saying you stop. Yeah. I would almost say it's good 75%. 
okay. the majority there. With that said, I'm going to do the foot block and then see what how much more we can get. Okay. That's good. Actually, I, I know I know you disagree with this a little bit, but I honestly think she's yeah. a lot. Better. She is. No, I'm, I'm not disagreeing. It's just I am. Um, yeah. I think some of that flick maybe that you see. I think that's her trying to just her. feel where her feet are. And she very well could some of that knee arthritis. You know, she could have shoulder arthritis. Certain things. You know, a little fat lock. Which, you know, and in this hard surface, mm -hmm. we're seeing it's not very forgiving. When, you know, little things here and there. But just overall, how she relaxed your body and her mm -hmm. top line. Oh, she looks a lot better, yeah. So let's do a foot block and we'll see how much more we can get out of that. Okay. Again, that's the No head bobs. No, she looks really good. I know, right? How much are the blocks again? So they're around 100. So that's another option. If we feel like, I mean, the last block, I know it's a little harder to tell because now it's like she's almost gone backwards, but it's actually because it's on the other foot. Yeah. That I would say that we blocked out the left front to the foot. I would say majority to the heel from, from uh -huh. our last 
a live session. Um, and so we can assume that the right front is going to be in probably the same spot without blocking it. If that's, we want to do that, we can go ahead and take x-rays, at least of the left front, because we know it's worse, and see what those navicular's look like. Um, so the blocks tell us where the pain is. So then what would be the solution to that? Because this block is temporary. It's like so it's a diagnostic. It's what it is, yep. not what it is. Yeah. Sorry, not where, where it is, not, not what. what it is. Right. Um, so at this point, we're going feet rather yep. than knees. Okay. So the next thing, mainly heel, do some navicular views with x-rays. Okay, why don't, would it be uh, good to start with a navicular and then, you know, go from there We've and then maybe do? We've had some lateral views taken, so I would say, I mean, we could retake them more or less. That would, that would help with treatment of how high we can prop her up if we want to get her up off our heels and basically farrier treatment, uh -huh. farrier changes for our treatment. Um, but to look at her level of uh, progression if we have navicular. Yeah. Basically. Would you prefer to have the black and the x-rays, or would the x-rays kind of tell you what you would need to maybe see with, with you, we can do both of them. I'm just trying to, like, you know, if, once we figure out what it is, how, is, how do we treat it? So that's, if we say, it depends on what it is. Right. But if we say it's the heel, then likely, you know, propping them up, getting them off the, the structures I was talking about earlier, um, cough and joint injections because that communicates with the back part of the foot, that navicular bursa. That's kind of one of our next go-tos. There's a couple of medications that help with blood flow and just an anti-inflammatory in the foot. Aspirin, nizoxaprine mainly. She doesn't necessarily have to live on that, but I usually do like a 45-60 day treatment of that. A couple of all those other changes just to help with foot healing. Um, so that would be... You know, if I'm thinking, shoot from the hip from kind of what I've seen so far, that would be where I would be. If you want to save on the right front blocks, I would say let's do naviculars at least of the left, if not the right, and then maybe a side view of each to tell mm -hmm. your career how much we can So with the black, uh, like I said, we can do it. It's, 100 bucks isn't a problem, right? I was just curious, like, would you rather do the black before the other one wears off, or is the other one already worn off? Does it matter? No, so you, do can, you don't have to do it in sequence. So you could do x-rays, and then we could go from there and see. What would you prefer? Um, if you were going to do the blocking route, we would continue blocking right now. If you want to just say, okay, let's assume the right one blocks out the same way, then we do the x-rays, but the other block doesn't have to come out. I would prefer that block stay on board to get her 100% blocked out. We've already done half of it. Yeah, so we... okay. Let's block them in the x-ray. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's bad. I just am trying to figure out, like, okay, once we figure it out, then what? Yeah, like I said, he, he was having a hard time try, uh, trimming her because she just kind of kept leaning on him. And yeah. I mean, she wouldn't yeah. stand herself. But her knees were knocking together, literally, yeah. you know. Yeah. So um, he he's a great trimmer. And, you know, he's he's done a great job. And usually her angles are spot on. Um, but like I said, he, he did have a hard time this time um, because she wouldn't hold herself up. I don't think that, like, even our in-house barrier, he would almost prefer to have x-rays, I think, every single time. Like, it's something to do with the barrier. It's yeah, not no. x-ray eyes. Right. <laughs> so it's, sometimes it, they, they do. That's kind of like what happened with Nitro. So when he saw the x-rays, he was like, okay, that's what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then he's just like, now I get it, all right. Mm -hmm. Then you want to shoot from there. Mm -hmm. But what? <laughs> what do you keep staring at me? Yeah, she looks a lot better.
She just doesn't bend to the right at all. Looks a lot better. Especially on this way. Yeah. And this is a very tight spot yeah. for a barefoot horse. That's uh, 20 meter. Typically, typically it's, you know, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a hard spot. Um, so I think we're kind of left where we were before the last walk. So I thought, you know, maybe not quite, um, you know, good 75, 80 with that heel in the left front. Then we did the rest of the foot and then we were left with the right front. Feel like the right front's cleared up. Now we're seeing that lingering, maybe 20% on that left front again. Um, so we can continue blocking. We can say, you know, that little bit that's left is that uh, attributed to something that's higher up. It could be that knee that flexes so sore. It could be, you know, arthritis in other spots. But the majority of when she, when we first saw her, is gone. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think as far as that gives us a lot of information as far as bilateral, both heels are blocking out quite well. Mm -hmm. So I guess at this point, do we jump ahead? We, we feel good enough that we found majority of the lameness? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think we so. go to x-ray? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and then we'll... I showed my mom videos of Nitro and when she did and my mom is just amazed that uh, horses you can literally put their foot on a block and have them see. Bella, yeah, watch that left back. That's the one she picked up. Horse. Sorry. Yeah, Sounds good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, redo that. doesn't want to poke out there. See if you can get her foot further back. Okay, let's bring her down. Um, switch feet. So our navicular bone on this side doesn't look that bad. This is the navicular bone here. Because of the position of that foot, because it's a little bit um, club foot, sometimes it it's hard to get that view because you're mm -hmm. peeking in underneath to find that bone. But basically you want to see a dark inside and a white cortex, which really 
we're yeah. seeing here, the only suspect, these are, she whacked on it, so I'm gonna a line here, but she has a little, what we call synovial invaginations, these little, so this on this view, this is the navicular bone. And so this little dark spot and a couple of these little dark spots, which sometimes is within normal limits for a horse her age. Mm -hmm. It's not. Uh, Watch your thumb. good she can come down so generally not terribly um, doesn't have terrible what we call sclerosis or whitening a little bit of a good distinction we'll say that now some whitening we can turn it away from that. It, no it's okay Sometimes it's just that's a little easier to see this it's sort of a mild distinction but it's enough that it could be caused So this fuzziness, kind of whitening, there's less of a distinction. This doesn't get any better. Okay. But along that white line. Okay. So she has some, some mild sclerosis along that flexor surface. Now if we return back to our other pictures, you can kind of describe it a little bit better. So that deep digital flexor tendon, like I showed you on the diagram, runs from the coffin bone up along the navicular bone. And so they can make, you know, little adhesions. It can add to hardening to that bone. And so that's the surface is what we're looking at in those x-rays when we look specifically at the navicular bone. But they so look some, pretty good. 
Some sclerosis, I mean, enough that be, could be causing her soreness. They're not like the worst I've ever seen, but I would say some navicular changes, what we would say. A little bit of roughening, some synovial invaginations. This was something that I saw on the other x-ray, but it's not unilateral. It's not on the other foot, or sorry, bilateral, so. So what can we do with this foot? Where she blocks into that. So she could certainly be lifted up. She's a little bit flat, that palmer angle. We're going to measure this. She has enough sold at that looks a little thin sold, but oops. She's about 14 millimeters. We want at least nine millimeters. Just get rid of that. But what we want is a we have a little bit of a negative hoof pasture and axis, so it slopes rather than being more in a straight line. Mm -hmm. And so if we lift that heel up, we get all the pressure off these structures here. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have a lot of excess toe. I know she was done relatively recently, mm -hmm. you said. So, I mean, the more you roll that toe back, the more you can bring the heel up, but she may just need some help otherwise. A little high on the outside, or sorry, the inside. So if you look from, yep, her coffin bone down, and you can even see this little joint space a little narrower than this one. Yeah. Or you can just see it from the bottom. So that sometimes helps just those ligaments that run between the coffin and the passer and the passer into the first phalanx, they can get distorted as well and <laughs> cause soreness. Now, certainly upright in this foot, and that's a little high on the inside, because it's a little mm -hmm. bit high on the side too. That was on her right foot, which is the that's right. club foot. Yeah. 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 And so yeah. she's just sort of the same there. And then, yeah, back to our right. say hazier, a little hazier on the left than the right, a little bit more white in the middle, some navicular changes to the left. Now again, sometimes we don't see all this on x-ray. This would be a horse I would say to get to the bottom of it, I would MRI her front feet. Now, if you want to do like a 3000 MRI. <laughs> so, I mean, we're, we're left with some farrier changes. Um, I mean, if you want to do that conservative route, doing some farrier changes and then the isoxaprine aspirin. The isoxaprine increases blood flow. Aspirin, aspirin as an anti-inflammatory decreases bruising and works synergistically with that isoxaprine. Um, and then if we want to consider something like coffee joint injections, if we want to, you know, throw that on board too, we can do that. And she's got a little bit of you know, steroid in her foot that's helping overall. Um, and again, in these types of caudal heel pain, and that's what I'll diagnose her with, um, you're asking about long-term prognosis. It's just sort of how she responds to it. I feel like if the left foot is lifted up and she's on, you know, some medications to help the foot heal and the soft tissues in her foot heal, I don't see why she couldn't do the work that you're interested in doing with her. Um, again, there's nothing that I'm seeing on x-ray that's devastating, but like I said, you can only see so much mm -hmm. on x-ray. We could go to MRI and be like, oh my god, that bursa is so, or you know, mm -hmm. there's some kind of tear, you know, you can, you can only see so much. So. so in other words, it's your feet that's causing the head bomb. Um, and we can go conservative or we can, you know, do more injections along the way always more advanced things that you can do but there's always there's some things that don't break the bank either that we can certainly try with her. So when I did the metro I saw a improvement within like three days, not a week. Yeah. With the pills. And then it was the you know the deal. Oh yeah. Um it relieved him of so much pain that he was it was a shocker like how fast mm -hmm. it actually took effect. She would need to be shod sort of to, with two different feet in mind. Yeah. So, I mean, I would put one shoe on, one shoe not on the other one, but she would need 
probably the wedge on the left and then just leaving the other one just regular shot but no increased angle. Would you have, I asked if anyone that help with um, her being so sore and like struggling with the uh, barrier and things like that? Do you think? Not so much the exoxprim, but the aspirin. So the aspirin. Yeah. You wouldn't, so the aspirin you can't mix with other, like Bute or Equiox or things like that. Um, some people like to swap that out if, if their horse is already on something like Equiox or Predacox, swapping that out with like an Equiox with Isoxaprine. That for sure would help her, you know, that, that's really what that drug was originally designed for. You're once a day, kind of like humans, you're once a day a leave for like older. <laughs> is that prescribed through you or just you can get it through? Yeah, it's through prescription. So we can get it through our online pharmacy or if you want to get it through your home vet. Um, the Isoxaprine, same thing. Um, our online pharmacy is pretty easy and usually you get pretty good. They have like discounts every once in a while. You can get some savings from there. It's a little cheaper. Um, and I think that would certainly help her a lot. Does that work? So she has her like a joint CBD as well. Would that cause any issues with the stuff? No. Mm -hmm. I had her on Smart Pack, um, like basically like a senior flex type supplement, and that didn't show any improvement. And so I tried CBD because one of my other friends had swore by it, and even you know, it's not going to hurt her, mm -hmm. but I didn't see any. A lot of the oral supplements for joints, like there's just not enough research. Mm -hmm. right. um, the Adequan's kind of my go to, which I know you've already done that with her. Um, like you say, it doesn't hurt other than like it might hurt your pocketbook. Like, there, you know, none of that stuff is cheap. And mm -hmm. so if you're going to invest money in one and the other personally, that's the way I would go. But I think at this point she needs some more intervention than that. But um, I mean, that's always it's good for any arms. It always helps. So we can, we'll write down the farrier recommendations. We'll email these to you too for your farrier to look at those. If for whatever reason you wanted to get a head start with like our in-clinic farrier, Roman Mast, um, we could arrange that as well. He comes usually every Wednesday. Um, and then you've already taken these x-rays and we would have a plan and mm -hmm. he could almost get you started if that's something you'd be interested in and your home farrier can take over. Um, and then yeah, so it's plus or minus the cough and joint injections today or if you want to see with the Barrier recommendations and then the the um, oral medications and then we have we can write that down as a plan if you want to do that. Yeah, let's not do the injections today, yeah. um, but we'll we'll work with the bar barrier and then that that med and yeah. we'll just try it that way. Um, you know, like I, I care so much about her, but she is twenty one. Yeah. You know, so like these injections, it's. Yeah. If she was eight, it'd be a completely yeah. different story. Yeah, you know, and I hope that doesn't make me sound like I'm a bad mom. No, no, no. That's why I say, I mean, I offer all the things and all the advanced yeah. diagnostics, but I get it. Like, I, I try. We want to get to the bottom of it, and this isn't anything that's going to hinder her. I mean, living in the pasture. I think there's some things you could do. We could certainly see. I mean, I can't predict the future, but I, well, yeah. you know that you could certainly give you a fighting chance to try to get her to do the things you want to do as far as her, you know, performance life. Um, just basically but, try it and she tolerates it great if not then don't okay um yeah because I mean we tried the super aggressive route with the adequine and the injections and uh, I mean we're at the same mm -hmm. thing so I just think that she's just telling me she's tired you know mm -hmm. and don't pretend I'm eight years old anymore okay do you have any questions mama Mariah mm -hmm. yeah. Auntie Mariah oh Bella but I think it's good to at least know where it is. Seven feet and Yeah. Which isn't surprising, you know. Do you think that she needed the other injections that she got though? I think the hot like from those x rays, I mean her hawk needed some help. Mm -hmm. Um I mean her left knee flex positive. Um and whether it just needs a little more time. Knee arthritis is hard. Well and um, she did have those bone spurs, so maybe that's yeah, I don't remember what foot they were on. Me, they were on anymore, but I mean, maybe now that you we fixed arthritis, the bone spurs are rubbing, and I yeah. don't. I mean, I, I who knows, right? She's a yeah. horse, but yeah, I mean, I I 
hope I didn't waste money, but I mean, no, again, I think all fine. those areas were trouble areas, and but her her feed is the she may not get have got enough out of those injections because her feet hurt too, so it's hard mm -hmm. to really recognize whether they worked or yeah. not. But you can take some. Uh, you know, feel good about that, I think she may not be able to tell you, but she probably felt good in those individual joints, just yeah. something else that <laughs> You were seeing it the same way, though, but... Yeah. You are saying it's about her, her black foot up, so are you saying a one-degree wedge, two-degree wedge? I would say... Yeah, like... With the shoe and, like, at least a one. Try one and see if there's a yeah. Kind of yeah. Yeah. On just the white foot. The black yeah. foot. Just the black foot. Yeah. yeah. And okay. then just shod, just with the shoes on the white. I wouldn't put any extra wedge. What about with like? Do you want pads for cushioning or just straight Typically, up wedges? I don't love pads like that cover the whole foot because you just can't get in there. You can get abs, you know, yeah. you can get all kinds okay. of things. So I like the rim, rim pads and then adding wedge that way. Okay. That way the foot is still exposed. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Just trying to be a good mom and do good by yeah. her, you know? Yeah. All right, well, I think that would, that would help her a lot. If she were your horse, you'd be happy with that plan too? Yeah, I, if she were my horse and, you know, taking all these things into account, I would do some, yeah, farrier changes. And then um, sometimes it can be enough. I mean, I, I don't think that's all it is, but even your farrier able to see this side view, mm -hmm. sometimes that pinching is just enough to mm -hmm. make them sore. My mare had that just recently. I, I have a herniated disc, so believe me. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like a lot, but it's enough. So, mm -hmm. you know, knowing that he's got to bring her down from the inside, and just some of those, you know, ligaments along the, a lot of times, like I say, we do these MRIs and it's like a laundry list of things. Yeah. It's never one. So I can never, you can never really say, okay, well, that's what it is. Yeah. Well, and like I said, I mean, I don't want to count her out because she is 21, but it would be a lot different if she was just starting her career. Yeah. You know? But I think that would take her a long way between those drugs and okay. the chewing. Cool. What about you? What are your thoughts, Tina Gallery? <laughs> Yeah, listen to the boss. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, cool. Thank you. And there's nothing that needs to be done with her back feet, correct? Because it is. I think she, yeah, she's got to feel rolled down, maybe. She's got, I mean, she, her toe's pretty short as it is, so. I feel like she's in good shape there. Yeah. And like I said, I mean, he, he norm he's a great carrier and this time he just had a hard time because she was sex yeah. Yeah. yeah well yeah, yeah. I, I sent him to him in February and he was like okay but um you know it, it she was leaning into him and kept falling down you know so mm -hmm. he was having it, she was not helping him and those days if she is on the aspirin or equiox they take her off for a day and then give her like two grams of butte that morning before she comes mm -hmm. and that should help her out a lot those older arthritic horses, really, they just need some help. With. Yeah. Could be even her knee, like flexing that knee, you know. Well, I know yeah, on the one there. side, when you do the flexation, I mean, she's a lot more, she, she can't pick it up. And, that one yeah. didn't go up. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it, it was partially that, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was almost, I told Brian, I said, you know, I'm, I'm looking into almost getting a sling, a sling for the barn to help, you know, because yeah. she's she's such a good girl. It's, it's not like you want to put her down because she's not oh, even no. close to that, yeah. you know, but you want her to have a comfortable life too, yeah. you know? Yeah. But you know, she will live until her last day on the farm. Yeah. when she chooses that day so all right cool don't mind if i stutter because i have a stutter <laughs> do they <laughs> and then i get nervous and then i stutter worse <laughs> <laughs> i try teaching with dyslexia it's, it's so much fun all right so straight line walk there was nothing straight line trot two out of five uh left front right circle one out of five left front left circle two out of five left front as well hoof testers so when she squeezed on that foot um she had a positive response on both of her frogs. When she flinched back. When she flinched back at mm -hmm. it, yep. Um, What's that LF mean? Left front. Uh -huh. It's just our short hand uh -huh. from okay. left front. Um, and then so our flexion tests, when she flexed her, um, and then we tried her off in a straight line. Uh, the left front lower was, she had no response. Um, 
the left front upper, she was a two out of five, so she was positive. Mm -hmm. And then right front lower, she was a one out of three, so she was positive, but she was positive left front. Okay. So when she made her stand on it, mm -hmm. then she trotted off lame on that left front. Okay. And then same thing with the right front, uh, one out of three as well, when she stood on it for a long period of time, then okay. she trotted off positive on the left front. And then those nerve blocks, so the first one that we did was the left front PD, so that was when we blocked her heel. Mm -hmm. She had about an 80% improvement. What's PD stand for? Yeah, okay, no yep. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. And then the second one that we did was the left front abaxial. Um, that's when we blocked the rest of her foot, and she had a 95% improvement, yeah. and then it switched to the right front. Mm -hmm. So that's where it became two out of five uh, on the right front. Sure. So then the next one that we did was the right front PD. So we blocked her heel over there, and it improved right front 80% soundness um, of the left front. Okay, so we concluded it was a problem with her hooves. Yep. Very good. So down here in her diagnosis, bilateral front caudal heel pain mm -hmm. is what we are diagnosing it right now. Okay. And the radiograph assessments? The radiograph assessments, so basically all of her words that she went to school mm -hmm. to learn, mm -hmm. <laughs> written there, <laughs> and your failure will know what those mean as well, um, but her hoof, pa hoof pattern axis, she has a low heel right now, all right. and then she's high on the inside, so, so she's we a little bit on one degree wedge? Yes. On the right front. Oh, look at you. Stop jumping the gun, treatment Janet. Them, treatment recommendations. She's got a lot of notes. She I does see. both sides. Uh-huh. So summary, at this time, majority of her front end lameness is due to the pain in her front feet, um, both heels currently, um, left worse than right, sure. and then um, while well, there are extensive mm -hmm. diagnostics that we can do for further from that, an MRI, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, at this time, it's quite suspect that it's her front feet, Sure. and nobody wants to spend three grand to MRI. Like I said, if she was four or five, six, right. maybe. She's 21, so it mm -hmm. makes it hard. Treatment recommendations, so those shoeing recommendations um, for the for the farrier, the wide web shoes, um, a full set, full all the way around, rolled heavy quarter to quarter, and again, your farrier will know mm -hmm. what this means. <laughs> um, and then with a one to two degree, one wedge, to two degree wedge and rim pads on the left front. So the right front shouldn't need the rim pad, the left front to give it a little more cushion. Okay. The black leg. The black yeah. leg, yep. Yeah. And then medications, the aspirin and isoxaprine treatments for 45 to 60 days. And then just the directions for those that sure. you can, after you get it ordered, to follow those. Okay. Um, and then okay. exercise turnout, limited force work at this time until she's sound. So marathons tomorrow? I mean, yeah. Spring, we're going to enroll in the Kentucky Derby. It is Derby weekend. <laughs> it is so. Derby weekend, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. We're going to bring the breakout winner. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then progress exam, consider a recheck in 45 to 60 days after she's been on that. Okay. Isoxaprine and aspirin um, cool. to recheck the lameness or pursue further treatments as needed. Okay.